Ever wondered which gods were considered so evil that worshipping them was a terrifying experience? Stick around because the last one will bring chills to your bones, starting with Set, the ancient Egyptian god of chaos, storms, and violence. Known for murdering his brother Osiris, Set embodied disorder and was worshipped through conflict and rebellion. His followers knew they were playing with fire. Next, we have Tezcatlipoca, an Aztec deity feared for his association with war and human sacrifices. Warriors were offered to satisfy his thirst for blood, making him one of the most dangerous gods to worship in Mesoamerican history. Then there's Cronus, the Greek Titan. Cronus was the leader of the Titans who overthrew his father Uranus and devoured his children to prevent them from doing the same to him. His actions represent extreme cruelty and paranoia, making him a fearsome god to worship. Moving on to Kali, the Hindu goddess of time and destruction. While she's revered in many forms, some sects worshipped her through violent and bloody rituals, including human sacrifices, invoking her darkest aspects. And finally, Moloch, a deity worshipped by the Canaanites and Phoenicians, infamous for the gruesome practice of child sacrifice. Entire cultures feared this god, and it's no wonder the very mention of his name brings chills to the bones. So why did the god of the Old Testament show no mercy to the people of that time? These gods and their horrific practices were a direct challenge to his divine order. The ruthless actions were necessary to cleanse these dark influences, protecting the future of humanity. The one true god has also prepared a punishment for these false and evil gods. Feared by ancient civilizations, they are destined for eternal damnation in the fire of hell. As declared in Isaiah 46, To whom will you compare me or count me equal? To whom will you liken me that we may be compared? There is no comparison. The power of these deities pales in the face of the Almighty. Their reign of terror was always temporary, for they are but shadows before the light of the one who commands the heavens and the earth.